Hey, it's a uh, high SMS. Um, what can I say? I haven't been around for a while. I'm really ill. I'm having a lot of fucking problems with the post office. Um, which mine is on strike right now, so any mail I send out can't be sent by them. Um, and they won't give me my packages back, so I have to wait until they're done. Which, and then, um, when I asked them, they were in the middle of negotiating because they're trying to cut out Saturdays and they don't like that because they feel that they can screw around with our packages because they're trying to prove a point that they need the extra hours or they won't be able to finish it. But what I got here is, um, it is Oneka, um, as a matter of fact, let me grab that little plastic hand. It's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a Nightmare on Elm Street NECA 2010, um, remake glove that I have, uh, fully, um, finished converting to a point where I like it. Um, there's a couple of small things I need to work on still, but no big deal. Um, I wasn't a big fan of this hand. I watched a lot of reviews where people tried to be like, this is really nice. This is really shitty. It's made out of plastic. Um, if you put the glove in it and you tried to stand it up, say you wanted to display it like that, it's not going to happen. Um, uh, I had to take the whole entire glove apart. These aren't um, rivets by NECA or anything like that. These are rivets by myself um, because the entire template setup was backwards. And I don't know if it's always like that, but it was on this glove, and I got this glove off eBay used. So who knows? Um, but see, there's a tiny little blade here, which you can see next to this one. And they even have the hose lowered, hose higher. These two are a little bit smaller than these plates. This one I cut down. This one was already smaller. But my problem was is that my pinky isn't as long as my pointer finger. So my finger could not fit in this hole. With this plate, my pinky would be sticking out, um, which because these can serve as left hand and right hand, uh, for the most part, I can show you what I'm talking about. That's how it was. I can move all the rest of them, and matter of fact, my finger's all the way at the end of this one, and that's how it was. And this one, I could, it would always fall off, and once it was off, it was off. I wasn't able to get it back on. So I had to cut everything. I reshaped them. I cut some of the cuff, cuff off. I roughed up the cuff. Um, what else? Oh, the, the nut edges, because I really don't know if it's... um copper or not, so I don't want to fuck with it too much. I know the rest of it's all copper. I resoldered the blades on because, um, when I got it, um, well, the blade was off, so I just resoldered everything, and I put some JB Weld on the outside, um, to reinforce the JB Weld. Oh, there's some blood stain on the, on the stuff. I'll probably put some on the blades when I'm done with the blades, because I'm going to shape the blades better, and I'm, I'm going to get rid of the imitation look, and actually, uh, hand hammer and imprints using various different tools that I'm going to be hammering the shapes into. Um, I had, a, I had a very accurate, uh, glove for a photo comparison for this, so it was pretty easy to do some converting with it. Um, the glove they gave was horrible and garbage. I liked what they, well, again, I bought it used, so I don't know if it's how it was or if they got home custom, but he had cut it out and did little finger things, and it was okay. I mean, it, I like having the tips, to, excuse me, in the fingers, because it really helps with, like, cushion-wise and stuff, and it, there's a pretty good amount of finger room, and it just helps fill it, but it looked cool. I don't recall Freddy actually having it like that in the remake, but it's not really all about accuracy. In my case at the moment, um, it's just making this glove from a decent glove into a really good glove. Um... I don't know if I say buy one. They don't really function very well when um the way that I got mine. Again, I don't I don't know if the guy did any home customizing or anything. But I mean, there's like completely different blade cuts from one blade to the other. This one's actually pointy, and um I actually cut myself on my finger right right above uh, my thumbnail. I had actually it actually went in in my finger and stabbed me. So um the round point things are bullshit on like uh, one out of four of their blades, I guess. Or the dipshit that sold me this one cut it and thought he was being cool. Um but hand is garbage. The glove is decent. It's a very heavy gauge copper. It's a lot heavier than the, than what I use. I use like a a bit thinner. Um, which was kind of nice to see. Um, overall, it's a decent glove. Um, it's a pain in the ass to get into when you're by yourself, but um, as long as you uh, do the nut down, and you put it through the hole, and you get it like that far, snap the cuff over, and with your finger, hold it down, slide it through, and then you can just you know bolt your nut on from there. Um, just give me uh, two seconds, I'm going to put you down, and we'll put it on and see how it looks. Um, and if you look at my fingers now, the pinky is the smallest, the ring, the ring finger is the next smallest, your point is just the next smallest, and the middle finger is the longest. The blades even follow in size um, the exact same way as the fingers. Whereas before, it was pointer finger, um, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. That was the original order of these blades on this glove. And that was from, um, I showed you from left to right, but um, it was originally from right to left, because this would be my pointer finger. That being my middle, and that being my ring, and that being my pinky. And um, I like the look of my rivets over there, rivets. Um, they were really nice, but they are just really like factory machine made, look at me, I'm good and perfect rivets. and. I wasn't feeling it, but I do want to rug them up some, but I'm not sure how to rug up some rivets. I got these big old dookie ones on um, the cufflink, and then I got um, the two sizes smaller on all the plates. And it's more than enough. And it was um, it was real tight at first because I just had a little clamp riveter that I spent like 20 bucks on, so it makes them really tight. And they look, they're pretty professional looking, there's no trimming, there's no nothing. If you really, if I could get a good focus on this. You okay, so my camera died. So I'm back, and since I have to take my hand out of the glove to do anything, it's now on that cheap ass plastic NECA hand that I don't like that I was telling you about. Um, that really get you to see the finger lengths, but um, 
the pinky's actually pretty diesel on this hand. If you if you buy this and you check out the hand uh, pinky compared to your own pinky, there's a pretty big difference. And I mean, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like six one. I weigh like two thirty five around there. So I mean, I'm a big dude. And this fucking pinky on my hand doesn't even compare to the pinky that they put on this uh, vinyl, plastic, whatever. I thought it was silicone or rubber. Or a latex, which would have been nice. Which I'm probably going to paint, because I did sell this glove. I bought this glove on eBay. Um, but I did sell it before I bought it as a convert. And um, I, I would say save your money up. Don't buy a necker glove. You're just going to be disappointed. Um, it's better than their original Freddy metal glove um, by like a thousand percent, but it's still not a good glove. It's nice if you're fucking 16 and all you have is your birthday money, but when you're grown and you're an adult or your mommy will spend $300, $200 on a nice one for you, get a nice one. You'll get better blades. you get a better weld job on yours. Mine came out okay, but theirs is kind of rough. You know, you, you get better rivets, you get a better gauge scopper, you get a better finish, you get a better glove. This is a replaced glove, one more time if you didn't get that. This is not the NECA glove that comes with it, whatever glove they use. This is a new glove that, um, I basically took the NECA glove to the store and I said, I want you to show me a good version of this. And they got me this one, which was nice and thin, like the one I had, but, um, it was even around the same color. <laughs> and then I just dyed it in various spots, I burnt the shit around here and on the outsides. And if anyone has any idea how to dirty up copper without ruining it and something that'll stay on and not come off, let me know, because I wouldn't mind making this bitch a little bit dirtier and shit. But here it is. Overall rating, I give it a 6 out of 10. Buy it if you only have the money for it, but you can't afford anything else. Or save up the money because you're only going to be disappointed when you open your box. Because the whole piece is going to be backwards and your fingers ain't going to fit and nothing's going to be right. So unless you have to, unless you go out and, you know, you buy yourself a rivet gun, even just a handheld pump one like myself, you're not going to be able to fix your glove. You're going to take your glove apart and have nothing you can do to it. You can't hammer rivets into this. You can't do anything to it. So, unless you have one of these, <laughs> don't buy one of these. And, um, basically, because you're going to